Yo guys, welcome back to another Damachi Mora for this video. Okay, so in today's video, we're going over the win tier list. Now you can have a quick look and I will explain everything afterwards. So those of you who just want to stick around and have a look and if disagree with me or tell me I'm crap, you've seen it, you can leave now. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, what I'm going to do is quickly go over the changes that I have made to the light tier list recently. Uh, I, After using a plus three Max Hero Ascended New Year's bait, I bumped him from C tier to B tier just because the absolute amount of damage he puts out is disturbing. No other changes were made. I know the idle units just got buffed, um, but not significantly enough to change their standing on the tier list. Coming over to the fire tier list, again, idle eyes and the Elfets, their positions has not changed even after receiving a buff. They got a good buff, but nothing uh, enough to bump them up anywhere new on the tier list. Uh, I did, however, bring Halloween bait back down to D tier where he belonged originally in the first place. Uh, it was a mistake. Uh, it, I accidentally put him in C tier rather than D tier. Uh, those are the only changes to the tier list and they're so insignificant, which is why I added them to this video now. Before I get into the win tier list, I should say, uh, I do apologize for the lack of um, commentary, face cam, and overall quality of the last few videos. It has I have taken a hit on views because of it, but that was bound to happen. Um, I, I had some things going on and I just didn't have the energy or willpower or motivation to pretend, sit here in front of a camera and pretend that I was you know, over the moon or excited about something that I just wasn't. Uh, it would be dishonest and fake especially to you guys you'd probably notice it anyway so I just didn't want to do it um, obviously I'm still not 100% but I'm here uh, I'm gonna do my best I'm not faking it like I'm here to help you guys but anyway so we're gonna move back on to the uh, wind list where's that fire list now let me turn it off there we go okay so this is the wind list now wind has a significantly smaller unit pool than the other well I say significantly it's only it's it's a little bit smaller than the other elements and wind for a very long time was not looked after it was such a tragic element um, which is why it was so hard for me to actually create a divide in the tiers like a lot of the units within B, a, B and A should be in S but I had to draw the line somewhere, like not all of them could be in, a, be in S because the problem was, was for so long, wind units were just terrible. And so anything that came out after that, instantly amazing. <laughs> um, what, do, is, what I usually do is I mention significant factors that I do need to mention and I will cover the Daphne. Now, a lot of people probably think Daphne shouldn't be in C tier. My problem with Daphne is some of her, she has a lot of utility, some of her, her utility can be replaced by units that we have, uh, newer units that we have that do it better. Uh, another thing would be other parts of her utility isn't to the standard that we currently um, have that what I would consider the level to meet, you know, like the standard requirement to actually be considered good. Like she has the, is it strength from physical resist and agility minus 25%? Like if it's anything below minus 30 for me, I just don't feel like it's it's good enough. It's it's not. Uh, the welfare Ryu, an amazing unit. But again, she is a welfare unit. And don't get me wrong, she's better than a lot of the banner unit. Like, well, she's better than some of the banner units. And when I say some of the banner units, I actually think she's better than the, the season two Bell and Eyes. I know some of you guys will disagree with me, but it, it is what it is. Ahmed is great, amazing utility, a good unit to start with if you just started the game. And Cassandra, she, it was a borderline thing, like I don't think she is as good as any of the others in C tier, but I do believe she's better than pretty much all of the others in D tier, so it's it's kind of an awkward place, awkward spot to put her, like do I make a new tier and put it like D plus, you know, uh, but no, she I put her on the tail end of C tier, which is, you know, it's the best I could do. Moving on to B tier. This is where I think a lot of people are going to start the disagreements. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the Shakti and this Ryu quickly. In fact, I'm going to go over all of the units in B tier and explain my decisions. So we're looking at the Shakti and immediately she's a balanced type, which means she's not designed for damage anyway. Uh, and we all know that she doesn't do damage. So if we look at her skills, however, minus 50% strength, 
and agility on uh, SA, which obviously, clearly and evidently is designed for war games. And as you guys should know, these tier lists are not and do not take war games into priority. They do take them into consideration, but war games is not the priority. We're talking about mainly, I don't like calling it PVE because PVP isn't even PVP, but uh, we focus mainly on like 7th Zone, Familiar Rush and Record Buster in terms of these tier lists, War Games all short of those. Skill 1, Allies Fast, Physical Resist, plus 40%, Damage Received, All Types, minus 20% for 5 turns and 3 additional actions which are a 30% heal to Allies. That is a butt ton of defensive utility and it pretty much works with anything, it will go to anything. Like, even if you're against a boss that does magic damage, the minus 20% AoE damage reduction, amazing. That's an astounding amount of utility and has a fast modifier, so it's always going to go before anything happens, so you accept an SA. Skill 2, AoE super wind magic attack. Now, even with that super modifier, she's not going to do a lot of damage. Ultra Uncounter, which aimed at war games. Lowers strength by 40% and heals allies by 20%. While I think that is great, knowing that she's not going to do much damage with it, I see no reason to use it unless I need a heal. And this just, to me, doesn't seem... Uh, it's good, like, but it's only sort of good for one thing. Uh, the 20% heal is, is not a good heal. And then finally, skill 3 is the single target super. Now, having two super modifiers is fantastic, but they did that to balance her out because she's a balanced type she's still not going to hit that hard removing only strength buffs is a real deficit to the utility of that skill because knowing otherwise that she's not going to do a lot of damage even with a super modifier the removing buffs is the only reason to use that skill um so yeah she as much as i agree she's amazing I'm just pointing out the areas that she's lacking and that's the reason why she's not been bumped up higher than the tier that she's in. Okay, so we're looking at the, the Night Elf Ryu now. Her stats are great. There, there's nothing else to say about that. Her stats are great. Her SA is meh. Uh, her skill 1, it, but buffing her strength by 8% and her wind damage by 60% is a very considerable buff something that's still quite substantial even by today's standards in the wind element unit pool uh, skill 2 high wind physical attack 35% damage for every guard rate reduction the problem here is <clears throat> the guard rate reduction and the wind resist reduction that she oh, physical resist wind resist and guard rate reduction that she brings is only minus 25% so the utility that's <clears throat> excuse me the utility that's going and being added onto that skill that is going to do a lot of damage because it even comes with an ultra crit modifier uh, an ultra crit rate modifier sorry you would have to you there is other units that give in, I think there's other unit I don't know if it's within the wind pool itself but my, that minus 30% for me is just an is is an sorry it's not good enough but she does do a lot of damage and the utility side of things is where she falls off which is why I couldn't bring myself to bring her above uh, B tier uh, to me she resembles the New Year's bait that I literally just bumped up to B tier uh, but that's about it <clears throat> okay so we're looking at the uh, wind Fina and although her magic is triple S it still falls short of 1900 and most magic damage dealers we have nowadays usually hit 1900 plus for their triple s and then we go into the skills aoe with a stun not really going to help you in many places beyond war game aoe skill one buffs her own wind attack damage and magic attack damage by 50 percent that's a great buff like it's not the highest we've ever seen in any element but it's still a great buff to have uh, skill two aoe super modifier High penetration rate increases status buffs by two turns. And then finally, skill free, single target, wind resist minus 30%. Having this 30% wind resist debuff and buffing herself is the only reason she's in B tier. Like she has a, a what I would call 
a good amount of utility and a good amount of damage based on her stats and based on her modifiers. It's just nothing that's going to bump her above B tier. So we're back over here. We're looking at the tier list and I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, why the hell are Anniversary, Finn and Ryu in A tier and not in B tier? <clears throat> I will tell you right now, this was the hardest part of it. Like I could not decide whether they should be in S tier or not. And ultimately, the only reason for me that they went into uh, A tier is because I questioned whether they should be in S tier at all. Like, for me, it was, should have been a knee jerk. I know that's a stupid thing to say. So, this probably might change in the future. They may be S tier uh, if I can go over more info and evidence to support it. But at the minute, I went off of instinct. Like, my first. <laughs> It was it was a case of because I didn't assume that they should instantly be in S tier based on what they had. It kind of put them in A tier to be safe. Now, like I said, I'm not saying they're not good. I'm not saying they're not like amazing tier wind units. They are. In fact, <clears throat> when it comes to AOE stuff, not even just the AOE stuff. When it comes to supporting any wind team between the two of them, they have it covered. They've got you covered. They give you everything. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend a bit more time and invest into sort of checking them out seeing what they're capable of and maybe come back and re-edit this not this video specifically but review the tier list in a little bit you know after a little bit of time and then come back and decide whether that they should be bumped up to S tier which would leave A tier completely blank um, they both have an amazing amount of utility an amazing amount of damage I mean, I wouldn't say they have like crazy extreme damage, but that's because they are AOE based, which means their percentage damage modifier is always going to be lower than single target, but they still have an incredible amount of utility. Like, like having a minus 40% wind buff, uh, wind resist buff is, is like, how many other units have that? Just at least in the fire element pool. That's it, I think. Other than that, I have no reason to keep them in A tier. So what I'm going to do is after this, I know... I should have done it beforehand but what i'm gonna do is i am gonna re-review these tier lists periodically anyway to keep them updated for you guys and next time this comes around i will uh, have made a more solid decision as to whether they should be a tier or s tier but finally moving up we're looking at the anniversary child eyes we're gonna go over her in the game Right, so we're looking at child, uh, what's her name? Storm Princess Eyes, I keep calling her Child Eyes, but Triple S Strength, which is what we're sort of seeing as the standard for Record Buster Unit. Excuse me, dry mouth. Her SA applies a minus 50% wind resist buff, which is crazy, and a 25% single target damage debuff on the enemy. Um, in case you were wondering, I know it says plus 25%, but this applies as a debuff rather than a buff. So you are still doing plus 25% damage to uh, with single target skills, but this is applied as a debuff. Skill 1 buffs her own strength, dex, and wind damage by 40%. This is a rather low um, buff compared to the other units we have. Like the Earth Otal buffs himself ridiculously. So this is kind of on the lower end, which I'm a little bit disappointed with when she first came out. But she still hits hard uh she still definitely hits harder than you know other units within the the uh the realm that she's supposed to so within single target you know she still hits how she's supposed to i'm just a little bit disappointed that wind didn't get the same uh modifiers that other elements got for their record buster units skill two lowers status buffs by two uh, enemy status buffs by two turns has a super modifier on it skill free gives those additional actions has a high crit rate and a okay though the additional actions actually have a high penetration rate as well so even the additional actions are really going to hurt when they stack up basically you can see she has a lot like she has good utility like well you know what, let me rephrase it she has great utility for the element uh for the element pool specifically she has a good self utility um but you can clearly see she's geared towards smashing things uh, but the amount of damage she puts out with the utility that she provides for the wind element pool in general 
uh, there's no way I couldn't put her in S tier but that basically is the win tier list this is probably a much shorter video than the others because it's a, a much smaller unit pool but I think that's everything I can't say that I have missed anything not that I can think of I know some people are going to agree with me uh, disagree with me sorry um, but like I said I am going to be re-reviewing these tier lists per, uh, periodically when new units come out as well as you know every now and again if I like like for example with the reunion of Finn I do feel like I do need to investigate a little bit more and put a bit more time into understanding what they do and how they work because there is a chance they, not, they might need to be bumped up to S tier so I'll have to come back to it I don't think that I put enough like I don't want to just give you an answer and be like yeah this is what they are but now, I, I admit I feel like I need to do a bit more research just specifically for these two but that is the win tier list you will find a uh, copy of this in my discord in the guides channel but I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was informative please make sure to drop a like if you did subscribe if you're not social media links in the description Ooh, a mouthful every time <laughs> uh, but as always guys I love you and I'll catch you later